Hey guys, it's Rufman from Voclocking TV. This is the first video of 2017. So happy new year to you guys, all the followers on Facebook or Twitch or YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for, your, for staying with us for that long and uh, bringing all your friends to this new adventure. 2017 will be very interesting for us. Uh, there's the HWBOT World Tour again, so the 2017 season. Uh, there's going to be the OC World Championship. There's going to be plenty more stuff coming this year. AMD is releasing new processors. Uh, Intel is doing the same as well. Most of the new things we will know uh, will be happening at CES. That's going to be in Las Vegas. And actually, that's going to be in the next few days because uh, right now I'm actually packing everything to go to CES. Uh, as you guys know, there will be um, the Performance Matters uh, event. So that's an event where uh, HWBot and Intel will be demoing their, uh, the new CPU and that the performance matters. Uh, there will also be the uh, HWBot World Tour 2017 Las Vegas, uh, along with the uh, first qualifier, the first stop of the Overclocking World Championship 2017 in Las Vegas. So what we do here is I, I have to pack everything to make sure we can uh, do the live properly and that we can bring you guys some uh, some videos. This is all the stuff I need to prepare and pack every time we have to do uh, to, to do a live show for for you guys on uh, on OCTV. Uh, of course, the BC one bench table. Uh, I got the one with the traveler Steve. That this one is actually the first unit production. So this one is like number uh, number one. I, I want to bring it to show it to the to the guys as well. Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen uh, controller on it. Uh, this is not announced yet, but there's something coming. Uh, some business cards, of course. Uh, some adapters for the stream rig. A regular GT710. That's for capturing the uh, the computer for the overclockers. Uh, this is a capture card. This is the Epic Capture. Uh, this is not released yet. That's going to be released um, anytime soon, I hope. Uh, that's as well a project that I have with, uh, with, uh, with Timothy from Overclocking TV. So of before going, always make a backup of your system. Um, here I have like a, a SSD that I will use only for storing all the raw files that we have from the videos. A recording from the live, that will be rush from the, uh, from the event that we go uh, or anything, it's a 480 gig uh, ADA SSD. What we do is I have a copy and Timote have a copy as well. So we always have two copies of, uh, of the same data. Some SD cards, of course, uh, always have a USB key uh, with you. You don't want to rely on just having the internet, especially at the trade show. So you always um, try to get everything up front for it. A three five meters HDMI cable. Uh, the reason for them is that I can plug some of the camera that I will have through HDMI to the capture card, regular HDMI. Uh, these ones are either for the screens, if the cable that is provided is too small, or for um, connecting the action camera when they are close to one of the streaming system. Uh, this is an extra cable, but you can see it's a different connectix to it. Uh, the main reason is different is because this one's going to be plugged into the camera on the people casting, so on the caster. This is to avoid to have the use of adapters like this. Micro HDMI on one side and regular HDMI on the other hand. I have five cameras, so I have uh, six cables, always have one backup. Uh, some audio cables, of course, a USB cable to plug the action cameras and the uh, network cable. Um, webcams, we don't use webcams anymore. Uh, because the quality is not what we want or what we uh, would have expect. So basically we now rely on uh, regular cameras like the one I'm recording now, the, the G7 from Panasonic. But uh, otherwise we do rely on the, on some extra views with the action cam. I have a GoPro Aero 3 Plus Black here, an extra battery, and a SG4000 Wi-Fi uh, camera. I do prefer the GoPro over this one, but I do prefer the Xiaomi uh, above uh, these two. So the two cameras, something to plug the cameras, charger, of course, that's a chest mount. Uh, some people already saw it. If some overclockers want to sh to show exactly how they um, they overclock, they can just put that chest mount hooked to one of the action camera and then you go. In that, that's a headset, like wireless one. That's gonna be for Ligov, the judge of the uh, OC World Championship. The main reason why we use this is to have the judge feedback and to know if there is any, uh, like the when they start the time, stop the time, etc. The Procaster from Rode, 
extra USB cable, of course, as, as usual, extra charger, no need too much because we already have like a charger that can charge six things at the same time. So these two are just the backup uh, for the for the small cameras. So basically the cameras are basically never on the battery uh, because you never know how long that's gonna last. Talking about the camera, I am re recording with the DMC G7, uh, Panasonic Lumix G7. That's a very good one, I really love it. And we've been using Panasonic for quite a while. Um, actually, talking about the cameras, uh, you saw that I have three lens, a fixed small one, uh, wide angle, 14 millimeters. I have the regular one I'm recording now, the 1442 millimeters. That one was uh, actually coming in the kit of the G7. And I have the uh, one from my previous uh, Panasonic camera, the GH1, uh, that is the 1440 millimeter. Uh, so these three lenses just give us a good range of what we want to do with the um, with the cameras or shoot on location. Of course, that's uh, that's quite a lot of gears, but that's only one camera. I gotta get two more cameras on location directly there. I'm gonna have uh, Alpha Six uh, Alpha Six Thousand Sony uh, with two lenses. I have a Sigma lens. I can't remember which one, but it's, it's a very fast one. And I do have uh, a, basic, a base lens for the Alpha 6000 as well. Uh, so the Alpha 6000 is going to be used for the casting, while the G7 will be used for uh, the overclockers. So we'll have the uh, charger to plug on the AC system to not have to take care of any battery. Of course, charger for, uh, for, the, for the batteries. In there, I have actually the adapter for the AC adapter for the G7. That's a battery, you just plug it in, plug that on the uh, on the power outlet in the wall, and there you go, you don't have to worry about the battery life anymore. So that's very useful when we do the live. Of course, uh, my HyperX Cloud 2 headset, always uh, bringing them with me. Two tripods like this, and a softbox, and actually the extra tripod that uh, you, you didn't see there, but that's uh, that this one. So this extra tripod, I will bring it to you to see, yes, that's a lot, but that's you know, necessary. I also need my router because every time we go to an event, we always bring our own network, uh, network device, wired and uh, Wi-Fi. So this is to make sure that uh, there is no limitation by anything that is not ours. So this is very important for us. Uh, this one is an Asus. Uh, AC3200 I think, uh, pretty pretty good, pretty fast, quite expensive but very very efficient. You can see everything is packed into different boxes. Um, I have like all the cables, HDMI cables in that uh, in that cover, the router, I have all the action camera gears there, I have uh, audio cable and the uh, micro HDMI in that pack. Uh, this is the, uh, the headset for the judge. Fixation, all that. I would go and take it with me in my end luggage. So the camera, the uh, podcaster mic, the capture card, and uh, everything. The Raspberry Pi will go into the uh, check-in luggage because it's too big to get with me. And uh, of course, I will get the headset with me because I always travel with that. And the three cameras. Although uh, Timote from Taiwan is bringing the GH4, I cannot bring it from here. So it, um, Timote, I did in Taiwan. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, at least three cameras that we have plus the extra one. So uh, basically, yeah, that's a lot of uh, of work, a lot of cables as well, a lot of <laughs> managing. Everything is working, but uh, so far so good. That's kind of the system that we uh, that we use most of the time. Right, folks. So uh, this is it, and we will see you at CES 2017 starting on January 4th. Until next time, keep pushing it.